Goody, goody! How the heck are you? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dano, and have I got something for you today? Yeah, check it out. I'm try I'm promoting these guys, SC Diecast, that Scott and Lindsay uh, Cleveland uh, that uh, run and own uh, SC Diecast, and uh, they just moved to this new facility. And I, I've yet to go over there and, and check it out. But, uh, yeah, uh, they've got uh, the Gmail there and, uh, um, and and stuff. So they do M2, Green Lights, Johnny Lightning, Auto World, Racing Champions, Hot Wheels, Matchbox. So check it out. And a Facebook, uh, Facebook e-store, Amazon, Oldies Junkie 77. So check them out. And you know why we're going to be talking about these guys? Because... Uh, at the last club meet, um, I I got uh, this this here, but bam! Check it out! Check it out! Yeah. So the story is, I'm going to tell you a story while we're looking around and looking at this mini GT, uh, the Land Rover Defender 110 military camouflage, and um, very very interesting. So uh, the last time I went to the club meet, they had them. And so I'm like, went right up there and I said, I got to have two, one to keep in the package and one to open for my uh, YouTube channel. And, and I said, get, oh, you got, I see you, uh, you know, they posted that on uh, Facebook or whatever that they had moved. And I said, you don't have to have a new business card. And they're like, yeah. So he gave me a new business card and uh, stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, so uh, and, and then the story is, so I bought two, set those aside, went shopping around or whatever, and then we did a 50-50 uh, drawing. And uh, you buy a ticket, you throw it in the thing, and you know, in that thing. And half of it goes to the venue. So uh, we, we, we meet at the Dome in Nina, and half of it goes to a lucky winner. So I won. <laughs> yeah. So I won. So uh, you know what uh, a person does that has an addiction? Yeah, they go and they reinvest. I mean, they, uh, <laughs> yeah. So I bought four more. I don't know what is uh, really going on here. Um, uh, normally, sorry about that. I had to grab this over here. Normally, the mini GTs uh, come like this, you know. They have the box and then they have the car showing in this big blistered car and stuff like this. But normally, they're Maison uh, exclusives and US exclusives. So, um, I don't know, I bought the extra ones. Well, one, because I love them and two, because you know, I try to, you know, run a store or whatever, but anyway. But I thought these might be a little bit different. Now they are numbered. They are numbered with the hologram there. And uh, I I just, you know, I'm gonna just kind of take a look at them. That's 251 and this was what? 251 and this is 516. So maybe we shouldn't, maybe you shouldn't uh, open up a, a low number one. I don't know, to, to 468. I know this is exciting uh, die cast stuff here. 339 and then this is, uh, and I can't even remember where the thing is at. 287. And this is the one right here. Yep, this is the one. 707. Anyway, so I, I uh, these, uh, and I tried to pick their brain on exactly what's going on with these and why they're packaged like this. Obviously, they're going to be cheaper. You know, you know what I mean? They're going to be cheaper this way. Now, Scott and Lindsay, they ordered like a case of these. and So they got like a hundred of them or, or no, 50 of them, 50 of them in a big case. And then there's two cases inside and there's 25 to those littler cases. So he's going to have them for a while. And uh, I said, well, you know, let me know if you, you don't want to get rid of them. But anyway, the, the, the other extra four that I bought, he really gave me a good deal on uh, because he's into, uh, you know, running a business and uh, moving moving inventory. If you don't move inventory, you don't make money, you know. And so, and then two, you know, if you got a guy that's going to buy some, you know, you better make a deal with him. 
you know this I'm not saying that this is uh, the most popular thing that <laughs> the mini GT does you know but it is uh, it is pretty cool so anyway so as you see I'm opening one yes I'm opening one I promised uh, on the unboxing video for the club um, meat unboxing that I would do this and so we are doing it and this is how it comes pretty nifty pretty nifty and uh, yeah so here we go so this is it this is it. So it comes in a little clamshell and then we just uh, open that open that clamshell up and we pluck that little bugger out and then it's got a little extra protective thing that just comes right off there so yeah I gotta get right up here I got my camera cranked up here so I gotta come down here a little bit so there we are this is it this is the mini GT camo um, um, rendition I guess military camouflage now this has got the nice little delicate uh, um, ladder on the back got a pretty simplistic roof rack up there lights on the roof rack very nice it's got the little delicate uh, side mirrors on it the little single steps for the uh, the door you know footsteps yeah mud flaps the nice little uh, trailer hitch I, are they planning on doing a trailer do I am I gonna get like a what is that uh, uh, stanky trailer is it is that right the stanky right uh, no opening parts or anything on these buggers but uh, very very cool right right hooker it's got the little sunroof up there yeah so very very cool let's take a look at the bottom now this is interesting is um, they don't number them like uh, Johnny Lightning and stuff like that they uh, they number theirs on the um, on the the, the base but uh, these guys mini GT don't do that they just go right ahead excellent little tires that they got those are those are really kind of cool oh screw with the tab you can see the tab on the back end of the body but this is metal on metal and uh, then all the other little pieces either uh, like the rubber the tires and the um, side mirrors are like a soft rubbery something or other but like the this is plastic the the roof rack and the the ladder is plastic um this is plastic too the that's not i don't think that's no that might no that's plastic i thought it might be metal but it's not but uh yeah really kind of cool really i think the mud the mud flaps are metal that's part of the base casting there but uh, really kind of nice details you know they got the offset pumpkins there uh, offset differential yeah so really kind of cool really kind of nice got a good exhaust none of it's detailed but it's it's there you know so uh, and then yeah they got the details the brake light turn signals and uh, the Land Rover badge on the back and the oh the license plate um, light is there but I think oh yeah they painted the door handles the gas cap Yep, and uh, around the window trim, around the windows, the black gaskets around the windows is painted. Yep, and a little side marker. That's a lift. That's like a decal there. I wonder. I think this. I think these are not painted. These are decals on there. That would be my guess. Now on the front, it does have uh, the grill, which I, I think is part of that decal. Um, you know paint paint like that the uh, turn signals are painted and the headlights are like uh, inserts with the glass with glass you know plastic inserts with silver painted in the background but uh, well look at the lug nuts are painted I noticed that on the spare tire the lug nuts are painted so that's green and then they paint the lug nuts in the center cap uh, the windshield yeah those are the wipers are painted so they put a lot of paint in there. Uh, the 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 uh, head, the top lights there, 
Uh, those are painted, but very nice. They got the, the cross, like the protective guards on them painted in there. So, so really kind of cool, really kind of cool. Well, there you go. Um, yeah, just, uh, I think this is a one on Wednesday. I think, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I've been so excited and everything. I just want to show these things off. So there you go. Just enjoy that bugger, huh? All right. We're 10 minutes into it. We got to get out of here. This is your friend Dano, and remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day!